How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of The Average Garage. Today's episode, we're going to focus on the Pajero Sport and mainly what I wish I knew as soon as I bought it. So 90% of this stuff is in the manual but I know a heap of people including myself don't actually read it. So I'm going to run you through the really cool nifty things that I've found that yeah, I really wish I knew earlier. Three years into owning this thing and I've only just found a few of them out in the last couple of weeks. So let's dive straight into it and uh, let's show you some of these things. All right, so starting at the back of the vehicle. Now, I literally only learnt this the other week and I really wish I'd known for the last three years. So you've got your boot release here. Pops the boot, cool. Now, when you're out of the car, if the car is locked, for example, my ears have just folded in, car is locked. So, you open the boot, put your groceries in, do what you're gonna do, the car stays unlocked. Turns out, under here, you'll see on the screen now, there's a little button. That locks the car. I didn't know that for three years. What? Excuse the absolute tip that is the back of my car currently. Now, all seven seat owners will have known about this little baby right here. Little storage compartment, fantastic. How many of you knew and didn't tell me because again, three years of owning this car, how many of you knew about this without telling me? There's a secret side panel. There's one on each side. Got oodles of room in here. Same on that side. Nobody bloody told me. So, going on storage solutions for the back of the Pajero, there's one more in the back here that I'll show you. So looking at the passenger side here, in here is your jack and your little tool kit. Now, if you've ever installed a tow package, you would have been in there to put some wiring in. However, one of the best uses I find for this is storage of soft stuff. E.g. Poop roll. Now, I say soft stuff because the outer panel you can see is actually the outer panel of the car as far as I'm aware. So if you do put heavy stuff in like tool bags and stuff, if it does uh, fall or get bounced around in there, it can dent the panel of the car, push it out. And yeah, nobody wants that. Look at a tradie van, you'll know what I mean. All right, the next thing is this. Now, if a lot of you don't know what it is, you're about to learn. It's a seat belt holder for when the seat belts aren't in use. As you can see, this one's just flopping around. Bring the belt up, or the clip, tuck the seat belt in the back one, tuck the belt in the front one. Now, your seat belt is tucked out of the way, it's not gonna get caught up, and you have oodles more room. You'll also notice there's one here, and one here for the back row. And the middle seat belt is up on the roof, as you can see. All right, we're off the tripod. We're going freehand for this one. A lot of people will know about this. It's pretty common sense, but you'll be surprised who doesn't. Cup holders for your passengers. Easy. Also, rear aircon. Just for those who don't understand, the seven seaters have it. And right up there, just in front of the shifter is the rear aircon button. And there's the controls with the center light. Now I'm amazed at how many people don't know that seat belts can change in position. You pull this, drop it down. If you're short and if you feel like it's coming across your forehead, drop it down. If you're tall and you feel like it's coming across your nipples, lift it up. Perfect. Now this one's pretty common sense. Most people know about it, but for those who don't, you keep your sunnies in there. I've usually always got two pairs in there. I've, at the moment, I've only got one, but you can never have enough. Now this little doodad on the shifter here, now, a lot of people don't know what that is. However, if you jam something in there, while your car is off, you can move your shifter out of park. So squeezing the trigger, I can't move it out of park. 
if I was to jam a key or something in there and then pull the trigger, you can move it out of park. So when you're being towed or you've broken down or you just need to push your car and it may have a flat battery because you need the brake pedal position as well to be able to move it, that's an override. Okay, so looking in the driver's footwell now, you can see there's this pocket on the left. See that tiny little slot? That's where the key fits. If your key battery dies, insert the key into that slot and you'll be allowed to start the car. Again, another basic one, but a lot of people don't actually know. This little button right here, that allows you to fold your mirrors in. So if you're going off road through a tight track, press that button, mirrors will fold right in. Here's one a lot of you might not know. Your center console tray, when it's not in use, clips into the lid. If you can't find your tray, it's probably clipped into the lid. There you have it guys. That's a few of the things that I really wish I knew as soon as I bought the Pajero Sport. If this has helped you, please let me know in the comments. Let me know and be honest, let me know what you didn't know. So let me know what I've taught you today. Um, if there's something I've missed, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to learn. Um, yeah, I just like making videos and helping people out. So. Yeah, if you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please consider liking the video, show it some love, and let me know that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll try and bring as much good content as I can to everybody watching. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you see somebody asking some questions. I'll try and get out of these flies. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all in the next episode.